Colonoscopy is a procedure that uh, has a lot of mythical uh, beliefs in the general population. And it's something that uh, healthcare professionals are trying to address and allay fears in. Now, colonoscopy in general is a very, very safe procedure. Uh, it involves inserting a, a flexible scope. Uh, the scope length is about the length of your entire colon, so it allows the doctor to reach the beginning of your colon and to directly visualize uh, the lining of the colon. Now, uh, all this is made possible because of the technology of fiber optics, which allows light to bend. Uh, prior to fiber optics, this was not possible. So what we do is we get a, uh, the patient to cleanse his bowel. The cleansing of the bowel currently is uh, still uh, a method that requires a person to drink uh, a significant volume of fluid uh, that's medicated. And what that does, it is just washes the colon clean. The cleaner that is, the more accurate the colonoscopy, uh, because then you can, the doctor can directly visualize uh, the entire lining of the colon. Now, the, the procedure is typically done under sedation, uh, and the sedation just merely means you get an injection uh, that puts you to a light sleep. Uh, it is not general anesthesia, although patients can request for general anesthesia, but the, uh, that is typically not uh, required. Now, the uh, pro col col colonoscope is inserted through the anus, all the way to the beginning of the colon. And the doctor then takes time to thoroughly look at the lining of the entire colon. Uh, the average time for the procedure ranges from 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, and sometimes for patients who've had previous surgery uh, or have very long loopy colons, the procedure might take a bit longer. Uh, air is pumped into the colon to distend it so that you can actually look at the, the linings very carefully. So the only discomfort that uh, the patient may feel, uh, even when he's sedated, is uh, a little bit of bloating, like a lot of, so they will describe it as feeling very gassy. Uh, but they're able to pass that air out. And the beauty of sedation is that the patients typically are very comfortable throughout the procedure. The risk of colonoscopy is exceedingly low. Uh, in well-trained hands of uh, as trained endoscopies, uh, the risk of uh, any side effects or danger to the patient is less than 1%. And the fear, of course, is perforation. And the reported numbers are 0.1 to 0.3%. Uh, there is also a risk of bleeding, but that is also low, ranging from, from 0.5 to 1%. So in essence, colonoscopy is a very, very safe procedure. It's very comfortable for the patient. Uh, it's not fraught with uh, the, uh, the discomfort that a lot of people seem to fear. Colonoscopy is integral in the efforts to prevent colorectal cancer. As I've mentioned before, more than 90% of all colorectal cancers develop from these benign growths called polyps. Now, what we try to achieve uh, as uh, doctors treating colorectal cancer is to prevent the cancer from forming in the first place. So when we perform colonoscopy, in the screening setting. Our goal is not to detect cancer, but to detect these lesions, namely polyps, before they develop into cancer. So colonoscopy is the only current method that allows doctors to find the polyps and to remove the polyps at the same time. In other words, once the polyp is removed, there is 
effectively no chance of it ever developing into colorectal cancer. That's why the entire procedure is now deemed as being preventive for the development of colorectal cancer. In order for us to directly visualize uh, the colon in an effective and accurate manner, the most important thing is for the, per the patient to have his colon cleansed completely, meaning all the stools in the colon has got to be washed out. And the current method of doing that is what we call a mechanical bowel preparation. What does it, that involves is it's almost like liquid flushing of the colon. The patient would need to consume, prior to the colonoscopy, volumes of between three to four liters of a type of fluid that's medicated. And what that medicine does is it just runs right through the small intestines, through the colon, and is passed out without any absorption at all. So it's, that's why I said it's like flushing. Uh, the usual process takes, uh, on the average, about three to four hours for an, a normal individual to finish consuming that. He would be going to the bathroom uh, to release all that fluid several times until whatever is passed out is effectively clear liquid. And that tells us that he's ready for the colonoscopy. There are usually some dietary restrictions uh, prior to the colonoscopic procedure, and these dietary restrictions uh, are aimed purely to make sure that the cleansing process is done effectively. The procedure is typically done under sedation, so uh, most patients are not aware of uh, the procedure being performed. Uh, my personal experience, majority of patients wake up not knowing that the procedure has already been completed. Now, the only remaining effects that most patients may have will be, number one, they may feel uh, a bit bloated because of the air that it was, was pumped in during the procedure, uh, but that very rapidly subsides once they have passed uh, the air out. Uh, the only other possible uh, leftover effects would be they may still have a little bit of a loose bowel movements uh, that same day. Uh, but uh, aside from that, they don't have any significant uh, effects from the procedure at all. Yeah,